Hey there, how's it going everyone? In this video, we're going to be learning how to create database migrations with Flask. So, database migrations may save you in, in cases where you want to make a change to your database model, but you do not want to get rid, that, rid of the data that is in your database. For example, if you want to add some fields to the existing database tables without having to delete uh, rows from that table. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make migrations with Flask using the tool called Flask Migrate. Now, if you head over to the website of Flask Migrate, so we're going to head over to the website and you see that Flask Migrate is an extension that handles SQL Alchemy database migrations for Flask applications using Alembic. So, such commands are, we will pass these migration commands via the command line interface. It helps us every time we create a change to our database model. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do exactly that. So we're going to head over to our code, and the first thing is always to check whether the extension you're going to use is installed. So we're going to say pip, pip install, task, migrate. So when I run that, now we're going to see that the requirement is already satisfied. Now I'm going to clear my terminal, and from that, I'm going to come and import class migrate. So I'm going to say from Flask migrate. I'm going to import. I'm going to import uh, the migrate class. So after importing a migrate class, I'm going to create an instance for it just uh, below the DB instance. So I'm going to say migrate is going to be equal to uh, migrate. And I'll pass in the app as well as the database instance, SQL Alchemy instance in this case, which is SQL Alchemy. Now after that, next thing will be to save, and then, since we said that we're going to be able to access these commands via the, the terminal or via the command line interface, we're going to run these specific commands, uh, and for it to work, you need to make sure that you have a latest version of Flask installed, so, when, so that when you run the Flask command, you'll be able to see the various options. Now, when I run Flask, I see options like version help uh, db routes run and shell so this help you to to be able to deal with your flask app at a very lower level now at this point we're going to be able to run a migration so we're going to create a simple change on our database model so we need to come to the user model and all i'm going to do is to add a bio field in this case when you maybe have a user who has a profile and they have a bio so we need to add the bio field and this is going to be db dot db dot column it's going to be db dot uh, let's say text and we may also say that nullable is going to be equal to let's leave it now for now so when you add db dot column and db dot text so that by is going to be in text field of, uh, of a length that we don't have a limit about so when i save let go to my terminal and all I'm going to say is uh, flask db init. So this is going to create a migration repository that we're going to be able to see within our root folder, within our root project folder. So we can be able to track the, modif the versions that are within our migrations and some other specific things to Alembic. So now after doing that, we're going to be able to migrate this to the database. So after this, we created our migration repository. So the next thing is going to be able to migrate these changes. So we're going to say flask db migrate. When we run this command, um, it simply tells us that it generates a migration. So when you go to our migrations and we go to versions, we can be able to see that uh, it has created a migration file. So when you look at this file, we look uh, at this file and all it's doing is it's adding the column of uh, bio, which is text and not now to our database model. So let me close that. Now, for us to see this take effect in our database, what we're going to do is to run this command. So we're going to run flask db migrate, um, flask db upgrade. So when I run flask db upgrade, 
So what this is going to do, it's going to say that running upgrade of the migration and it's going to give us an because we never specify the message, so it's going to run this migration on our database. Now, if we open up our database, I'm going to open up the database with DB Browser for SQLite. So I'm going to to come and open the database. I'm going to navigate to the folder where that database is. So I'm going to go to Users, Johnson, and simply so go into the coding folder, and then I go to this so I'll open up our database and we shall see that we have a version a version table created so this basically keeps information about our versions and also have a user table created so in this case we didn't have a bio field and it has been created so if we go to browse data we're going to see that we have a migration table that has one 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 row one column which is for the version numbers so it keeps the version numbers in our database and also have a user table that has an extra field that we've created using migrations which is bio so in this tutorial we've been able to understand how to migrate changes to a database and if you feel you've learned from this video please go ahead and leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this thanks for watching